Hi friends, welcome back to DIYs with Nosh. Today I'm participating in the So You Think You Can Craft Challenge hosted by Melissa Makes It DIY and co-hosted by Angela Jones. The theme object is the are these uh, tumbling tower blocks, which I'm sure you've seen at Dollar Tree. Um, so actually I further decided to uh, challenge myself by seeing how many DIYs I could design from just one packet of tumbling tower blocks. So watch ahead to see how many and uh, how I came up with these. So the first project is this uh, coaster. I've used the dark blocks for this and I've also um, used eight of the blocks. Glued. Um, I've used the fevicol glue or the wood glue to uh, glue or adhere uh, two of them together. And then I've attached all of them together in this manner. It's really super easy. I mean, it's a it's actually speaking a no brainer, as you will see. Now, one of the things I realized later on is that if you're going to use the um, wood glue, try as best uh, to use as less as possible, and in case there is an excess, wipe it off immediately. You will see uh, tiny uh, bits and um, kind of bubbles coming out uh, from the edges. But just try to clean it off with uh, a napkin as soon as you see them. And now I'm going to attach all of them together once they dry up. And now I'll repeat that step with uh, all four of those blocks. I didn't have any varnish lying around, so I've just used the decoupage uh, um, glue. Obviously, I need to because it's a coaster and I need to make sure that it's waterproof. So I'm just going to apply some of this. Wait for it to dry and there you have it. This next um, DIY is a flower pot stand. I, I've seen quite a few of these on the internet anyway, uh, but I had attempted something similar with uh, skewers and uh, I love that idea and I just decided to replicate that with, uh, with these tumbling tower blocks. So I've taken uh, eight of them as you right yeah those are the ones i've taken eight of them and glued two together to make a pair of four and now i'm making the centerpiece so for the centerpiece i'm going to glue two of them together and perpendicular to that i'm going to have two other pieces like so So it's going to look like a cross. Now I must emphasize that uh, hot glue does not work very well for uh, for these projects uh, on the tower blocks. It's best to use the wood glue or Gorilla gr glue, um, but not to use uh, hot glue. Although I have used hot glue in my next project, but I would still say for longevity, no, don't use uh, hot glue, use wood glue. So I've made my cross over there. And uh, I'm going to wait for it to dry up. I'm going to check if uh, the flower pot is actually sitting in there, I mean, snugly or. Okay, 
and now I'll be making the uh, foot stands which would uh, stand at the edge meanwhile I was also thinking of uh, of seeing if I could make another another um, project as well so I was just thinking of coming up with some <laughs> for something else that's what's going on over there I was thinking of uh, making a home sign but then I realized that uh, I would be short of these blocks although I have another block um, packet but I didn't want to use that because like I said I wanted to challenge myself to see how many projects I could make with just one packet of uh, these blocks so yeah So now that the cross is dry, the glue has dried over here. So I'm going to attach the um, I'm going to attach the um, the foot of the stand for elevation. But uh, like you can see, I've used the hot glue, and that's when I realized uh, I'll be applying the second stand as well. And I that's when I realized it was not um, holding very uh, firmly. Plus there was a small blob, you know, every time you um, you stick it on because of the hot glue pressing against it if I make any sense anyway so um, eventually I did change it because it came off so easily so I did change it and I applied um, the white glue or the wood glue see there you can see it's just come off so easily so so I'm going to later on I'm going to uh, fix all four sides So I've finally gone, gone back to the white glue. You know, as uh, DIY crafters, we get into the habit of using hot glue because we want instant results and um, it's faster, of course. So it does get, uh, it does get easier working with hot glue. But um, like you can see, it takes a whole lot longer for the white glue to, you know, dry up. Which is obviously time so um, I had to wait first for one side and then the other and then the other two so yeah but of course um, the next morning when I when I kept them they were so firm when I placed the uh, when I placed the uh, flower pot as well it was really firm it was really kind of you know strong so yeah that's it very easy project and love the results. This next project is so cute and it's dear to me because uh, it's a reminder of my children's uh, toddler age. Um, my son must have been at grade one or perhaps grade two um, and uh, they had uh, made a Mother's Day gift um, as a candle stand and it was made with the uh, uh, it was made with the uh, clothespins so I've just adapted the same concept and I've just uh, changed the clothespin to uh, these tumbling blocks it's really easy I used as many blocks as I could because um, obviously I'm trying to f fill as many blocks as I can so uh, yeah and after doing all of these, I still had one piece of block left. <laughs> so, yeah. And then I'm going to glue them together. For this one, I did use the hot glue. And there you have it. It's super easy. So, I hope you enjoyed all these um, all of these projects uh, if you did please don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up please like this video and share it if you can that would be great um, thank you for visiting me today bye bye